So while I was out there, I found me an old short stick CB antenna, which is, uh, I don't even know where this one came from, but uh, years and years and years ago, oh, there's a camera case that I've been, have lost for the last three or four, five, six months too. <laughs> I think that's something. Years and years and years ago, I drove a truck for UPS. When I started driving for UPS, they would not allow us, UPS trailer truck drivers, to run a CB. And... We used to bootleg them. What I mean by that is I had a pair of vice grips about like a pair like that and I would weld a little CB antenna holder on it and I'd put it in my bag and I had a little fire stick which is about a 48 inch white antenna longer than this one and we would drive up over the hill and jump out and uh, I'd clamp that clamp on the rigging of the airlines on the back of that Mac and throw that fire stick up on there or sometimes I my buddy Dixie Rebel, he ran that red antenna, whatever it was. It was about a foot longer and skinnier. But we'd stick in things up and run over to Alabama talking trash to all the other truck drivers. And then we'd pull them back down before we came in the gate. I still probably got that set up around here somewhere. It might be up in the attic. I still got my old Radio Shack 4 watt CB radio with the illegal below one channels in it. And I got me a president base station one of them i think i call it a president 100 and i got a d104 mic and you know with the uh with the plague and the uh, apocalypse and all this other stuff you know when the internet goes down we're not gonna have phones anymore and probably about the only way we can talk to each other is on them old base stations and i still got mine so i'll, I'll set that antenna over here and uh I'll put it someplace where I know where it's at. <laughs> you know how that goes. Put it someplace where you know where it's at. You never see it again. But, uh, yeah, I'll put it someplace where I know where it's at. And then uh, and then when the apocalypse happens, we'll uh, we'll have that. And we can talk to, maybe I can talk to Cutworm out in Arkansas on it. If I can get enough, if I can get it to reach out there enough. Okay, that's, that's a side note. I'll just file that under whatever, and I'll, I'll go back and get that. I'll show you where that engine stand is. It's, it's out here in the cutworm. In the, this is the cutworm Crosley barn out here, and the Crosley's under that. I had two of these engine stands. I gave one to Todd, and the other one is up in here uh, underneath all these old Volkswagen fenders. So uh, I got an Angel. Oh, you can see the angel. I got an angel back there, kind of hung up in there where the uh, engine stand is. And I got this old Coke sign out here, which is looking a little worse for wear these days. But uh, that's where it is. So I'm going to try to get that out while y'all are watching. Because it seems like. Oh, for sakes, listen to that wind. Uh, I don't want to break another camera, so I'll put y'all back around here. Oh, the joy. Yeah, the winds are blowing. Sure is. I got on my Joshua Peak stuff I heard t-shirt. But it's a short sleeve shirt and I got a long sleeve shirt on top of it so y'all can't see it. But I'll break that out here in a while. Oh, the joy. Oh, the joy, I said. <laughs> 